Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving temperature dependent circuits. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering a the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says that the circuit below switches a warning lamp on or off depending on the temperature. You'll see we have a 12 volt battery, a variable resistor, and a thermistor, and then we have a bulb next to a component P. And part A says to name component P. Well, remember the NPN transistor has an arrow that is not pointing in, but this arrow is pointing in, so this means it's the other type of transistor that we talk about in the National 5 course which is the MOSFET. Part B says when temperature increases, the resistance of the thermistor RT decreases. What happens to the voltage across RT as the temperature increases? Well, because the resistance of the thermistor decreases, then the voltage across it must decrease as well. So it decreases. Because remember, whatever happens to the resistance happens to the voltage. Part C says that when the voltage applied to component P is greater to or equal than 2.4 volts, component P switches on and the warning lamp lights. RV is adjusted until its resistance is 5600 ohms and the warning lamp now lights. At this point, calculate the voltage across RV. So we want to find the voltage across the variable resistor when the lamp just lights. And it just lights when the voltage across the thermistor is equal to 2.4 volts. So if we look back at the circuit diagram, we can sort of ignore this stuff on the right hand side for now and just think about the series part of the control circuit. So we've got our 12 volt supply and it's saying that when the voltage across the thermistor reaches 2.4 volts, the lamp will now light. So this means we can use our rule for voltage in a series circuit, which says that the voltage across the components there must add up to the voltage of the supply. So if the thermistor has 2.4 volts across it and the supply is 12 volts, then we must be able to do 12 minus 2.4, which will give us the voltage across the variable resistor. So doing that for part one, we can say VV equals VS minus VT, where V is just for the variable resistor and T is for the thermistor. And substituting in our numbers, we get 12 minus 2.4, which equals 9.6 volts. Part two says at this point to calculate the resistance of RT, so the resistance of the thermistor. Now, if we look back at the circuit diagram, notice that we've got two voltages and one resistance value so far, and we've got one unknown resistance value. So right now we know that at the point that the lamp lights, the voltage across the thermistor is 2.4 volts, and the voltage across the variable resistor is 9.6 volts. We also know that RV has been adjusted until it's at a resistance of 5,600 ohms. So this means we know two voltages and a resistance value, so we can actually use the potential divider formula for when the supply voltage is not known, because we don't actually need it here. So doing that, we have RT is what we're trying to find, VT is 2.4 volts, RV is 5,600 ohms, and VV is 9.6 volts. So we can do our equation that is the ratio of the voltages equals the ratio of the resistances, the potential divider formula. So substituting in our numbers, we have 2.4 divided by 9.6 equals RT over 5,600. And cross multiplying here, we're gonna have 9.6 RT equals 2.4 times 5,600. And then if we take this answer from your calculator and divide it by 9.6, we get a final answer of RT equals 1,400 ohms. Question two says that a thermistor is used in a switching circuit as shown below. So you'll notice we don't know what the supply voltage Vs is, it just says Vs. We've also got the thermistor as the upper component this time and the variable resistor as the lower component. It then says part A, what is the name of component X? Well, this has an arrow that is not pointing in towards the transistor, so this must be an NPN transistor. Part B says, what is the purpose of the resistor in series with the LED? Well, remember when we did LEDs, we said that the series resistor was there to protect the LED from too large a current passing through it. Part C says to explain how this circuit will warn a chef that the temperature of a fridge is too high. Well, we want to start our explanation by thinking about the temperature getting too high, i.e. increasing. So we can say that when temperature increases, the resistance of the thermistor decreases. So remember that comes from the rule TURD for thermistors, temperature up, resistance down. So when temperature increases, the resistance of the thermistor decreases. If the resistance decreases, then this causes the voltage across the thermistor to decrease, because remember, voltage will do whatever the resistance does, which must mean that the voltage across the variable resistor increases. And just to show you why that works, if we look back at the circuit diagram, 
So we're saying that as temperature goes up, the resistance of this thermistor goes down. So that means the voltage across the thermistor goes down. And because these two components with the power supply make up a potential divider circuit, remember that these two will take a share of the supply voltage. So if the voltage across this one is decreasing, then it means that the voltage across the variable resistor must be increasing. We can then say that when the voltage across the NPN transistor reaches 0.7 volts, which is its switch on voltage, it will switch on. And lastly, we can say that this in turn switches on the LED. Lastly, part D says, how could this circuit be altered to warn a chef that the temperature of a fridge is too low? Well, right now it's designed to warn a chef about the temperature of the fridge becoming too high. So in order to warn it about the temperature becoming too low, all we have to do is swap the positions of the thermistor and the variable resistor. So looking at the circuit diagram, that just means swapping the thermistor here to make it the lower component and then putting the variable resistor up where the thermistor is. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.